Well, Daisy's about an idea I had with spinning kites, making power and bringing it to ground. A bit like that. However, I wanted it higher up. I had to start down on the ground with poles. I want to get rid of towers though. I want to get rid of the towers, the bases and the nacelle of a standard wind turbine. And have just flying round kites. So some of these devices might help. I'll need big lifting surfaces. And it's good to have kites spinning round at a large distance from, from the hub. Now that first prototype wasn't lifted, so the next time I used this remote control kite. But again, that is bettered by using an inherently stable lifter kite, which can weathercock or face into the wind. These airborne wind energy projects are about trying to tap the vast potential of energy in the air and bring it down to earth without using large heavy equipment and basically using machines in tension, kite machines, to generate the power. I've worked very cooperatively with a bunch of folk online. The design space for airborne wind energy is very large, but the open source community keep coming back to these fairly standard ideas of these ring-like generators and these very stable lift kites. I hope to get that wheel there fitted with a regenerative braking system from an electric bike. Here I used some very light equipment there is a mast, unfortunately, in this one. But as I say, you can hold the wheel on the ground and all of this could be transported in, say, a light kayak or maybe even on the back of a bicycle. In the end, the efficiency of these airborne wind energy devices is going to come down to the fact that they can scale. Controlling larger and arrayed groups of daisies is the next challenge I'm working on. So on the bottom there, you're seeing another airborne version. On the top here, you're seeing... Maybe a version we could put in an estuary where you've got lots of spinning rings driven by blades and the power being transferred up to the top net there. That sort of system would cope with the low flow of tides. But for just now, here's what I've been up to in the Isle of Harris. This is an open hardware airborne wind energy project. Please feel free to join in. The more of us that contribute, the better it's going to be. Thanks very much for watching Daisy.